I'm Richard Marcenko, Commander, United States Navy, retired, AKA Dick Marcenko, Rogue Warrior. Well, the Rogue Warrior series uh, was started obviously with the autobiography Rogue Warrior, which is the first one that was the number one bestseller on the New York Times list. Dick Marcenko is the hero in the book. Judas Reagan, uh, was the one that did a transfer of autobiography to fiction and kept me the main character. Uh, it, it was unique at the time, you're talking 1993, uh, that a true person went fictional uh, following an autobiography. Dictator's Ransom, of course, is uh, the, the newest one, and, and that the venue is North Korea. And uh, North Korea is a black hole uh, in terms of we don't know much about them, their population knows virtually nothing about us. Uh, they certainly have the manpower to waste. Uh, and it's caught now with a nuclear capability that I first flagged in 1993. Our government wants me to go in there and find out what's going on. In essence, they contract me. They come out here to the Rogue Manor, one way or another, and invite me to do the dirty deed that they don't have to. And, and the blessing, or the plus to that, is I don't have to get country overflight rights. I don't have to ask permission across borders. I don't have to worry about diplomacy. The only thing I have to do is keep my ass alive. I get to piss off the Chinese. I get to piss off uh, my bureaucracy that I do very well, always have. So it's a cross of real world and fiction or prediction as to what's going on and can go wrong in North Korea. I look at what is available, what is known out there. And then since I think like a dirt bag, uh, I know what they will do first and I know their vulnerabilities. What I picked up in homework and, and the way that I conduct myself shows up for the reader. And, and I think that's, that's the difference in, in fellow writers that cover this genre, is that I've done it. You know, I'm not a Clancy that has to dream up what's happening. I've done it, now I write about it. I know what's gonna come next. I know what's important to me, the operator. And I certainly know what I'm looking for because that's what I did all of my life. Been there, done that, and I'm willing to do it again.